Today, we're testing out Vidu, a platform that claims to turn text, images, and image references into videos. Sounds impressive, but how well does it actually work? So if you're new to Vidu, this is how you get started. Just go to the site I've linked in the description. You click on Try Vidu on the top right and sign in using your preferred method. I will choose Google because it's the most convenient. Once you've created an account, you'll notice that you have 80 credits for free to test it out. As of right now, you've got three options with Vidu image to video, reference to video, and text to video. First up, let's try the text to video feature by clicking on it over here. So this is the prompt box. If you want the AI to write a prompt for you, you can simply click the inspire me button right here. But on this video, I'm gonna be trying my own prompts. Let's start with something simple like a serene sunset over a mountain range. After typing in your prompt, you have a number of settings you can tweak down here, but I'm gonna leave them as is. When you're ready, you can go ahead and click the create button which will cost you four credits. All right, so this is the output video, and to be honest, it was way quicker than expected. It took about 10 seconds to generate this. The first thing you'll notice in this video is how bad the quality is, but I am gonna show you something that will improve it. Video comes with an upscale option to improve its bad quality. I will go ahead and click the upscale button to see if it can improve the output. Let's use it and see how it does. This is definitely way better than the original. Now you can go ahead and download the video by clicking this button right here. Let's try one more prompt, a futuristic skyline with flying cars. And here is the result. This turned out pretty weird with cars flying around everywhere like they are glitched out. I will go ahead and hit the upscale button to see if it can improve the output. Vidu claims that this feature doesn't only improve the video's quality, but also fixes any imperfections. This is definitely better when it comes to quality, but that glitchy feeling I get from it is still there. Vidu really didn't do a good job with a futuristic prompt. Now let's try out the image to video feature by clicking over here. Simply upload your image and write a prompt. I'm going to upload this image and write a colorful butterfly landing on a flower and hit generate. This is not that bad, but there are definitely some problems with it. Let's see if the upscale feature can fix any of them. Again, the quality of the video was fixed, but one of the butterfly's wings is still a bit glitched. I will give it another chance with an easier image. Waves crashing on a tropical beach at dawn. Here is the original version and the upscaled version. It is definitely better than the butterfly video. It's got an unintended cartoony vibe to it, but that could be the image I used. Video also offers a feature where you can upload two images, one as the first frame of the video and one as the last. You can access that by clicking that add end frame switch right here. For this one, I will upload two images of a butterfly. On the first frame, it will be sitting on a leaf and on the other, it will be flying. I'm also going to add the prompt a butterfly flying off a green leaf. Let's see how Vidu performs with it. Even the version without the upscaling is decent until a certain point, but I will upscale it to see how it looks. It actually starts off amazing, but messes it up shortly after. This feature definitely has potential. Try it out on your own and comment below if you got better results. Now let's check out the reference to video feature. Vidu promises character consistency across multiple videos, so I will put it to the test. For this one, I will use a picture of me and select my face as a reference by clicking the select object button. After that, I'll write a very simple prompt like this and hit generate. That actually has a lot of potential. I think the upscaled version will look amazing. That's disappointing. I can definitely see my face here, but it's extremely glitchy even after using the upscale feature. Let's try an easier prompt to see how it does. A man speaking directly to the camera in a well-lit room. Here is the original version, and here it is after upscaling. This does look like me, but it looks really weird. Plus, I'm not sure why there are two of me. Based on this testing, the consistency of the character is there, but the output is really uncanny. You can also upload many images by clicking the multi-entity consistency button right here. With this one, Vidu claims that you can give it multiple subjects and it will generate a consistent video as shown right here. Let's give it a try. I uploaded these three images and I'm going to write this prompt a man and woman talking on a park bench. I'll also directly upscale it to show you the best result. I can definitely see the characters and bench, but the quality is weird and glitched out as were the other outputs. Trying Vidu on the free plan was okay, but not perfect. It's fast and fun for making videos, and the upscale tool helps a lot. Still, some videos looked off, like flying cars that didn't make sense, and faces that came out weird. It's free, so I didn't expect perfection, but now I'm curious. Should I try the paid plans to see if they're better? 
If you wanna see more videos where I test out AI tools, then check out the video that's on the screen right now.